Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about inheritance in System Vlog. So first we will understand what is this inheritance. So in our OOPS concept, Object Oriented Programming, this inheritance is on mechanism, okay, which allows users to create a new class which is extended from the existing class. Inheritance is nothing but it allows users to create an extended class from the existing class. Existing class is nothing but the existed class already it is there okay one class is already there we are extending our class from the uh, existed class okay we don't have to say existing class extended class every time we have a name okay for this existing class we have a name base class or parent class we will call it as a base class or parent class and this extended class the new class is called as derived class or child class or subclass and this base class is also called as super class okay you can say base class parent class or super class and for the inherited class we can say derived class child class or subclass so why we need this inheritance what is the use of this inheritance i will give a simple example consider i want to create one new class okay i want to write some code i want to write some code and i wanted to create one new class but already one class is existed okay already one class is existed this class is nothing but my base class or parent class okay this existed class is nothing but parent class or base class some of my code is included in this base class whatever i wanted to write in my new class whatever i wanted to write in my new class that code is included in the base class this is my child class or subclass okay this is my this class is nothing but i wanted to create one new class right this is my class and here i wanted to write some code but some of my code is included in the parent class so now what i can do i don't have to write everything again okay i don't have to write everything again because already some of my code is included in the base class now then why i have to write everything code so now i can extend my new class from this base class now i can inherit inherited inherit the properties or methods now i can extended my new class from this existing class now what it means when i inherited the properties or methods that is nothing but i have an access i have an access to this base class whatever the properties are there methods are there i have an access to that that means i can override it i can reuse it i can modify it okay so these are all the access so how we can achieve this by using this extend keyword okay by using this extends keyword we will use class and the child class name extends the base class name this keyword we will use while we are inheriting the uh, class okay so this inheritance provides a reusability and it provides overriding and it also allows you to modify the properties or methods which is there in the base class without disturbing it we don't have to change um, by going to base class okay you don't have to go and change in the base class you can perform everything in the child class that means if the base class has any property or method you can override it you can modify it in the child class you don't have to touch this base class that means without disturbing the base class you can perform everything to that base class in the child class okay so this is the importance of inheritance so now we will see some points child class has access to the class properties and class methods of its base class we just discussed right it has an access to the properties and methods of its base class and along with the existing class properties and methods a derived class can also add new properties and methods based on the requirement here in the uh, derived class we know that we have an access to the parent class methods and properties right so also we can add the new properties and methods in the child class okay we can include the new properties and methods in the child class based on our requirement and a child class can modify its base class properties and methods without disturbing the base class so if i want to modify the base class properties or methods then i don't have to go to the base class i don't have to use this base class handle okay i can do that by using the child class handle multi level inheritance is also possible in system vlog so what is this multi level inheritance multi level inheritance means the derived class whatever we have extended from the existing class that derived class can uh, derived class can also be extended further 
okay that derived class also further extended that is nothing but multi level inheritance for example uh, we have one base class and we have extended one class okay and this existing this extended class whatever we have derived from the existing class this derived class can also be extended again and again this class can also be extended this is nothing but multi level inheritance okay we will see all this in the example